What's good, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus back with some XRP and crypto analysis, giving you the latest and greatest updates on XRP. So, guys, if you are new to this channel and you like what you see, definitely subscribe, comment your thoughts, and let's begin. Uh, today's going to be a little longer video because I have some news I want to cover and a lot of things I want to say before I get to the technical analysis. But before I do any of that, I always want to give God his glory. I always want to give God his place on my channel because he said, acknowledge me in all thy ways and he shall direct your path. So God has a staple on my channel and he's always first on this channel. And if you don't like that, you could skip it, but that's on you. All right. That being said, I want to ask a question for you guys. How many of you are going through uh, struggles in your life and going through things that are bringing you down? whether it's be mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you feel like you're being drained. You think that life is just against you and you think you can't come out of your struggle. You can't come out of what's going on in your life. You got so much tribulations that you're fighting. You're like, I don't know why is God doing this to me? Or you might not even believe in God. But at the same time, that's something that uh, God is building in you to draw nearer to him. He's doing... He's allowing these things to happen in our lives so we could draw nearer to him. Uh, I want to read this scripture for you guys. It's Romans chapter 5, 1 through 4. And before I read it, I want to say these things happen because he's, he's building patience in us. And in patience, it builds character. And when your character is being built, you have experience that that's being built. And then you have hope, which creates your faith. All right, so Romans chapter 5, 1 through 4. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations, also knowing that tribulations work in patience and patience experience and experience hope. So be happy that you're going through these things. Count it not strange that these things is happening to you because it's only evident that God really wants to draw nearer to you and that he's just waiting for you to reach out to him because he said, taste and see that the Lord is good. So he's just reaching. He has his hand out for you. All you got to do is call on him and grab, grab him and go by faith. And if you need help with that, you know, definitely ask for prayer. Definitely ask for guidance. Look for people. Surround yourself with people that are uh, that are, you know, God-fearing and that are growing in the spirit. But other than that, let's get on with this video. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just want, I have a lot to cover, so let me get on with the video, all right? Thank you, guys. All right, so I have posted this 22 hours ago. <laughs> I had said IBM expects a central bank to, uh, it says IBM expects a central bank to issue digital currency within five years. So there was a a uh, YouTuber that made a bold claim that uh, this, you know, IBM would, uh, what they're trying to do, the CBDCs would put XRP and alts to zero. So, you know, I I, I don't agree with that personally because I know what uh, XRPs do, uh, the purpose of XRP. But here's here's someone that said, zero chance CBDCs take XRP to zero. In fact, the opposite is true. CBDCs are supportive in the XRP ecosystem and increase demand for its bridging capabilities. We'll see CBDCs much sooner than five years. 2020, we'll see dozens, dozens of announcements. So you guys, uh, let me see. There's another thing. Uh, I will tag what he has as well in the description below so you could see that. Uh, because a lot of people are saying a lot of things about XRP that it's going to fail and all that. I, I, I really don't believe that. Uh, so I will tag Jade's video in the description. I don't have, I, I will get to that later, but I will tag, uh, tag uh, you, you know, the video on all that so you can get an update on what he's, uh, what everybody's talking about CDBCs, all right? Um, and the thing is, the great Gatsby had also said, and he said as well, 
I've said it, Ripple has said it, said it as well, said by many, CBDCs cannot be used for cross-border transactions per monetary policy slash regs. And because you aren't solving a liquidity issue, which XRP is going to be doing, CBDCs are digital fiat that will run on the blockchain still needs a bridge, you guys. So XRP is going to bridge all currencies, all digital currencies, and that's why XRP is going to succeed. So you guys, it's just only a matter of time. It's just the ecosystems being built as we speak. Don't worry about the price. It's a long-term investment. Be, you know, be patient. <laughs> be vi uh, uh, vigilant. It's gonna happen. So this is happening, and I got flack for this post a long time ago, but it's look, it's finally coming to surface. <laughs> uh, you know, this bank amidst the widespread, uh, widespread payment failures, uh, it's only a matter of time before XRP gets a hold of uh, Deutsche Bank. And here we go. Deutsche Bank president warns recession bells are ringing. Negative interest rates are no longer likely to be effective. Monetary policy is running out of means to cushion a series a serious economic crisis you guys it, this economic crisis is going to be the pretty much what i believe is going to be the catalyst to the explosion in xrp price and this bank failing is going to be a true testament to that and you know it's you know the comedy here <laughs> nothing to see here folks the world's falling apart as we speak but you know it's all right Turn your heads around. Nothing to see here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, time to get to the technical analysis. I hope you guys enjoy this. It's straightforward and simple. So we're currently here, obviously. And this is a demand zone. And if you aren't familiar with demand zones in the market, demand zones are areas where buyers like to enter into the market. So we have one, two, one touch here, two touch here, three touch here and we're on our fourth. So buyers have entered this market every single time we got into this zone, except for back here, we had a little drop back here. But this, we now that we have broken structure of the market, market has been pushing up to the upside. Honestly, we could count this as a triple. This might, you could count this as a uh, triple because this right here just broke through. So one, two, three. So this could be a triple uh, bottom and then our move to the upside. If we take a closer look on what's going on, I do like what I see so far. Yeah, and I trade the Ichimoku system. So if you guys are familiar with that, definitely pause this video and check out the videos in the description box below so you can get an understanding on what the Ichimoku system is. And this is what I have so far. So price is right here, respecting the cloud. It's acting as support right now you see flat key june right here so this whole area is acting as a support so i expect price to bounce off this level and we have a tk cross a bullish tk cross right here we have a bright future cloud which has formed right here chiku spend is above price i don't like how it's angled down but it follows price so i expect the, the this candle will be closing in the next four minutes and 48 seconds so I'm expecting it to move up after that. This will be my buy entry right here at this fractal level. If we do get above this fractal level and close above it, price will continue to the upside. I should wait for this candle to close just to see if we make a new fractal. And if so, then I expect prices to move up. And even if it does make a fractal here, it's going to be right here anyway, which will show that we're making uh higher lows which will be like this as well anyway so we should be moving expecting some type of movement to the upside anyway uh just to play it safe this will be an entry point right here that i will be taking if i if it does reach that level i do like what i see so far it's just simple technical analysis nothing too uh you know crazy this is called a tk cross trading strategy with the ichimoku system 
And it's a very effective uh, strategy too, might I add. <laughs> uh, you see TK crosses, look what happens. You get it here. Uh, let's see another one. Oh, I messed up my charts. Oh, I made my charts disappear. <laughs> Bear with me, guys. There we go, right there. Fixed. <laughs> Quick recovery right there. But yes, that's what TK crosses do. You see, uh, this was a bearish one. This was it had mixed signs right here. This would have been dangerous to trade. Uh, here was a good one. But there's different strategies with this method. I would have to teach it personally. If you want to become a student to the game, you know, definitely uh, inbox me, DM me, hit me up in the comment sections asking me how to become a student. I could help you become a student and learn how to trade on your own and read these charts and see what we see as technical analysis chart analysts. But anyway, that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe your thoughts. And definitely share this video with everybody. XRP is going to do well in the future, in the close coming future as well. So be vigilant, be patient. It's all coming together. All right. God bless you guys and peace.